Hello everyone, uh, this is Pedro from PyTalista with one more video. I'm studying for the Microsoft Fabric certification and I'm just exploring all the components and I stumbled across this uh, tutorial here in the data warehousing for Fabric documentation that uh, you can do uh, DBT for Fabric. So I've done a video in my channel about DBT, where I just go into details what DBT is and just go in a demo, just explaining the basic function functionality of DBT, which is not the purpose of this video. I'm just going to put a link here to this video in the description and also on the top right of this video right now. So you can watch this one. But what I'd like to go through is on how to set up DBT core uh, in Fabric. Okay, I'm here in VS Code. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory called dbt fabric on my computer. I'm just going to cd into that uh, directory. So dbt fabric. And I'm just going to open VS Code. Um, go here. So if I go on the documentation of the DBT, uh, note here is that uh, this was an adaptation or I think it's the same as this Synapse Data Warehouse connector. Uh, and then it now works with Fabric, but important to know that you can access data in your lake house via the warehouse, but it's not available for Lake house is just available for, yeah, so not a lake house endpoint. So the adapter currently on, only supports connecting to our house, not lake house endpoints. So another thing before we get started, there are some prerequisites. So you need to use Python uh, version 3.7 or higher. Uh, you need to have a Microsoft ODBC driver for a SQL server. I'm not going through, through that here. But I have another video that I can put the link uh, where I installed the ODPC driver for SQL Server in Linux on WSL. Obviously, you need to install the DBT Fabric package, which you can use pip for that. And, and needless to say, you need to have like a Fabric workspace uh, enabled with a data warehouse um, with a Fabric capacity. And then one more thing, you will need to have uh, installed on your system also the Azure CLI because the authentication is going to go through that. So with all that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow this tutorial here uh, from um, Microsoft documentation. So I'm going to create a Python virtual environment very quickly here. So just checking the version that I have here is enough. Yeah, I have 3.11. So i um, just going to go python m fenf.umt. And I'm just going to activate environment. So what you usually should do is just um, upgrade pip. and install the package, which is dbt fabric. Cool. So while it's installing, I'm going to clone this uh, Jeffo shop here from dbt just to do the demo. So I'm just going to clone here. So I'm just going to cd into Jeffo shop because you need to be inside that folder uh, where the dbt project file is. Don't need to change that. So for to establish a connectivity, you need to create a, a file called um, profiles.yml. And the location that the dbt looks in your project, uh, it's on your home directory. So for Linux, it is, um, you can open that with VS Code. Uh, home directory is that the tilde one uh, for 
file is Lash. It's in a folder called dbt.dbt and the file is profile. So when you start dbt, it automatically creates that <coughs> path there. So I have a node here from a test. So I think the two things that you need to change is the database name. I know, so I'll tell you in, in Fabric where you get those. So if I go to my um, workspace, which is that dbt demo, so go on your Fabric dbt, so you can open that. So if you click that cog here, so that's the name of the database. So that one should go here. And the host is that link here. So SQL connect, connecting string. So with that, so you need to do a AZ login to authenticate with your Azure account. And this account should be the account that you have access to the workspace, should be the same account. That's gonna pop up a browser. You just click on the account that you are using. So and then wait for a few seconds, then you got something come up in the terminal with your default account. If you are if you have a various accounts, so just make sure that you use the um, you do I think it's a D account show and it's gonna show the the default one for me, which is the my Visual Studio Enterprise. Uh, account so with that you can do the next step which is dbt debug just to see if the connection is working fine you should receive all green hopefully it's working for me yeah so I, I have a database here that I have tested before, but I delete all the tables. So there is nothing here, just my DBO schema, but there is no tables. I'm gonna run a command here, that's seed command, uh, S-E-E-D, um, in dbt, just to load some data. Can you see on the seeds folder, I've got three CSV with some data, just for the demo. So I just go, uh, dbt seed and then that's gonna connect with my fabric and upload those files there it's running it's a small just a few rows each file about 100 rows yeah successfully those um, 99 113 and 100 rows were inserted so if I go back to my fabric, it should be here if I refresh. Yeah, the tables are here, the data is already in fabric. It's pretty quick. I'm using an F4 capacity, which is not the second worst, second last worst uh, capacity. It's pretty quick. So now, just to finalize, I'm just gonna run two more commands. So one is the dbt run, which is gonna run everything. It's gonna check the models, if there is any staging uh, models to run. Uh, if you don't know dbt, the way dbt works is like pretty much SQL. You don't need to write historic procedures. You say, I want a table that's gonna be exactly the result of this SQL statement and the outcome of this is going to write into either a view or a table. So I'm not going to go into the detail of dbt. I'm just going to demonstrate how dbt works in Fabric. So dbt run. If you watch my other video, I'm, I go more into the detail of how dbt works. So it's completed successfully. So let's go back in the fabric and yeah so i have the other tables here uh, which is all loaded and also i have some views schema for my staging tables yeah for my staging tables if i see my um 
project file it says that uh, all the staging should be used everything else is going to be tables so to finalize the tutorial there is one more command which is uh, DDT test I think yeah to just to run the tests there are some tests here if you see the uh, this model where is the tests I think I've got not here yeah so on the schema.emo has got some tests to run so let's run those Yeah, everything's passing. All right, so that's pretty much it. A demo of how to use dbt, how to configure that in your environment. So uh, I think I showed you the profile, how you do it. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna just delete that workspace because it was just a demo. Uh, Again, thanks for watching. Try Fabric. It's really good to see that Microsoft is investing a lot. It's only going to get better from here. And then I believe that Microsoft wants this to be the preferred tool for uh, data, data engineering, reporting, data science, live streaming. It's really powerful. I really recommend. I'm going to do more videos about Fabric. If you are interested, please. Uh, Keep an eye on the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell and like the video to support the channel. Thanks for watching.